let's take a look at the Fibonacci numbers. And um, I'm going to read this. Um, the Fibonacci, if I'm saying it right, series begins with 0, 1, and each subsequent number is the sum of the preceding two. Um, so it starts with 0, 1. And then each each number after that adds the previous two numbers together. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. Uh, 5 plus 8 is 13. 8 plus 13 is 21. Uh, 13 plus 21 is 34. And so on. Okay, now we're, we're going to write a program um, that um, prints this series up to a certain number. Now, um, you can easily do this with other methods, and that's the thing about the recursion. Unless you're forced to use recursion, you're probably going to find it easier to use other methods. So keep that in mind. You may be sitting there looking at this like, why is he doing it this way? Wouldn't it be easier just to, to write a simple loop? Yes, it would. Um, but we're just kind of getting the, the feel for this. Okay. Now, I haven't written this myself, so um, this should be interesting. It may take me a little bit to get it get it ironed out. Okay, so I'm going to um, ask uh, for the, how many to print. So I'm going to say import java.util.scanner. And I'll come down here to my main, and I'll say, um, let's see, scanner input equals new scanner system dot in. Okay, and um, then we'll say system dot out dot print input how many numbers. Okay, and then I'm going to say, um, actually I guess I've got to declare a variable. Uh, count. Maybe index. Um, then we'll say index equals um, input dot next int. Now I explained uh, these in the previous example I did for the factorial, so I won't um, go over um, explaining those again. Um, if you're not comfortable with those, go listen to my explanation again on the factorial example on that. Okay, and then I got that, and now when I come down here, and I'll say public static. Um, Let's see, void um, fib, and then we'll pass in, um, hmm, let me think how to do this. I'm going to need to pass in the previous two numbers, in one, in two, I'm not sure if there should be commas or semicolons, but we'll see, and then our index. I guess commas. Okay, so um, then to begin with, I'm going to um, call it with zero and one, and then my index. Okay. And um, I guess before I do that, I need to print off 0 and 1. So let me just do a simple system.out.print line or print and 0, 1. Okay, then down here, I'm going to okay, bring those in. When do I stop? 
if um, I've got my index, but I need to keep track of how many I'm doing also. So count, I guess. Count. And we'll play with this a little bit, because like I say, um, uh, count as um, two to begin with. And definitely, um, I don't necessarily write the most efficient code to start out with. So sometimes when I just wing it like this, um, it does different things. Okay. So I'm bringing those two numbers. I want to come up with my new number. So uh, new, new, I int a uh, new number. And new number is going to equal to n1 plus n2. Now I want to print that number, so I do system.out.print new number plus and then a space. Okay. Then I want to call fib again. And I want to pass in. Um, N1 is going to be N2 in my new number. And then um, still passing in my index dot count. Let's be count plus one. Okay, now I'm missing some some items here. Now that I'm type this, I'm gonna say if um, count if count is less than or equal to index and um, okay so index is two how many numbers is that five okay two and then I'm passing a count I'm increasing count each time I'm going through so first time through um, Passing in two for count, because I already printed two numbers. That's my, in theory. So count is two. So when it calls it again, it increases. Two plus one would give us three. So this, when this is called within it, then it becomes three. And three plus one is four, and so it keeps on increasing that. Now index remains constant. It doesn't change. Um, and then uh, these right here... Um, We'll, we'll see how that works. It seems like I'm missing something. I um, guess we'll know when it blows up. Uh, let's go ahead and try running it. Does that seem too easy? Input how many numbers? Input five in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are they the right numbers though? Zero, one, one, two, three, five. Zero, one, one, two, three, five. That's correct. Let's try it again. Let me put in 10 numbers. Um, let's see, 21 plus 34, 55. Yeah, that looks okay. It looks like it's working. Um, obviously, it's not working correct. Because if I put five, I should have five numbers, and it looks like I got six. Which means that instead of this being less or equal to, probably just less than. So let's run that. And put five in. Okay, and it prints our uh, Fibonacci um, series sequence. Forget what what uh, what which one it was. Series. Okay. Well, let's take a little cl a little closer look at what it's doing. Okay, so to begin with, my first uh, call. The Fibonacci is passing in n1 and n2, which we said was um, 0 and 1. So it's passing in 0 and 1. So this is n1. And this is n2. Index, uh, let's say I put in 5. Comma, and then count, which uh, said count was 2. 
So that's 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 what we're passing in. Well, then it's going to call Fibonacci uh, again here, recursively. But this time, it's switching my second number I passed in. This is my second number, and it's putting it first, comma, and then I add those two together. Um, so I added 0 plus 1 gives us 1, so it puts this. What this is doing, basically, is, of course, index is 5, and we increase count by 1, so it becomes 3. And then we call Fibonacci again. And again, what this is doing is taking our second number and putting it first. So it's taking our second number and putting it first. So that'd be a one there. Comma, and now it's adding these two together. So one plus one is two. So then it's putting two here. And then five, and then it's increasing that. Um, so it's calling itself over and over, doing that same pattern. Now, um, and again, uh, there's easier ways to do this than recursion. I'm just showing you how you can do it with recursion. Um, one method. And definitely, like I say, it's probably not the most efficient. Um, it's just the way that jumps out of me was I'm sitting here programming. Because I begin with, I didn't think I needed count. And then I realized, yeah, I do need count. Um, keep track of where I'm at. Um... Will this always work? If I put in uh, 1, for example, how many numbers? Yeah, let's put in 1. Obviously, it doesn't work, does it? Um, so, this, um, this isn't uh, complete here. Uh, but I will stop there. That shows you the um, Fibonacci um, done with recursion. So, you can just um, call itself over and over. Is this... Um, Easier in the other way? No, I can write a lot shorter code with the other way. So, again, just demonstrating recursion.